What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today I'm here to give you guys a quick review on Overwatch. And I do believe I do have enough hours to actually give it a quick review and enough experience to tell you guys what to expect. Because I know some people out there are going to doubt me and like, oh, they're going to be like, oh, shut the fuck up, there's nothing wrong with this game. Because in this review, I'll be pointing out the positives and also the biggest negatives. So, if you're sensitive and butthurt, before you start leaving those dislikes, let me show you guys my career profile. Because I know some people are going to be like, Ooh, you haven't played the game enough, shut the fuck up. There it is. 14 hours. As you can see, I do have enough hours with some certain characters. Tracer, Junkrat, May, and Soldier 76, Reaper. You know, those are my top five right there. And I'm still trying to deal other guys, too. So do not think that uh, I don't have experience with some other ones. It's just that uh, it's up to the game mode, too, man. Because if I'm defending, I'm going to use Junkrat. And the reason why I have so many hours with this guy is because, you know, sometimes the enemy does have, like, tank players and... It gets annoying as fuck, especially with Reinhardt, and nobody uses like a demolition guy, so I had to use Junkrat like on purpose because nobody chooses a freaking like uh, either Junkrat or what's the other chick's name, a Farah. So um, that's why I have so much, so many hours with Junkrat because I use him for defend. But yeah, guys, there's my stats. So you cannot say that oh you don't have any experience in the game. I do. So and also I have 59 eliminations. What do you have? Exactly. So anyways. First of all, let me start off with the negatives, so everybody can get their dislikes out there. The most negative thing about Overwatch, it does not have a story. I have a feeling that I've been playing another Destiny, another The Division. The Division did not have a fucking story, even though it did have some cutscenes, but I don't consider that a story. I consider that a more of an open world multiplayer game, that's it, it's like an MMO. Like you head over to the Dark Zone, that's an MMO right there. Massive multiplayer world, I don't know what the fuck it is. but. All I know, that game was just multiplayer only. And then um, the Destiny was the same shit too. So this Overwatch game costing $60, I mean, I think I wasted a lot of money. So um, I don't believe it cost $60, especially with no story, man. And I know a lot of people are going to be telling me right now, oh, go, go, go over to the YouTube channel of Overwatch so you can see the story, you know, shut the fuck up, the animation, you know. I don't want to go over there. You're not supposed to get out of your disc and then go to an app called YouTube and then watch the animation. Like, fuck that, man. Fuck that. It should be in the fucking game. It's the same thing with Destiny. They made us go to a website to read the story. Are you fucking serious? Might as well just make a fucking book. <laughs> Seriously. So, so yeah, man. It's the same shit as Destiny. It does not have a story. And before fanboys start saying that, go watch it. Like, seriously, bro? Like, no. You see, when I bought this game, I was like, oh, I want to know the background stories of some certain characters. You know, when I saw that animation between Tracer and Widowmaker, I was like, I bet that's going to be in the fucking game. And when I freaking put on the game, there's no story mode. Great. So anyways, moving on from the story mode, which pisses me off a lot. I cannot believe it does not have a story mode. It only has two different game modes, to be honest. Well, there's four, but, you know, this is just against the computer. And then this is custom games with your friends. But the other two are similar to each other, except this one is kind of different every week. I think this week is, uh, yeah, Genji and Hanzo. They have different stuff every week, like sometimes you can choose whatever, sometimes you can only choose two characters, I believe, and it will change over every single week. But it's annoying as fuck, because, you know, your, your special charges up a lot faster, and also you have more health, so choosing a little character and moving around super quick is going to be almost impossible to kill you. So, um, it's, it annoys me a lot, guys. That's like a noob station over there. Over here, quick play is where everybody's at, you know, where everybody's just playing around and, you know, trying to win the game. And uh, it only has three different game modes in, within this quick play game mode. And it has like a capture the base in the middle of the map. It's just a little bit like a little square in the middle and everybody has to capture it. You know, everybody kills each other and whoever captures it the longest, you know, wins. And then the second game mode has to be escort. You just escort a vehicle across the map. But it's super fun to play, to be honest. Um, that one, you know, I do have a lot of a lot of fun, and um, you know, just escort a vehicle across the map, and uh, you're an attacker or defender, and uh, you know, once it reaches its destination, you win. The other game mode has to be you capture a base, and then you transfer the the, the vehicle, and you escort the vehicle. So uh, it's similar to the escorting vehicle, it's just that this time you two you do uh, two things at once. It makes the game a little bit longer, so that's super fun to do, also. So um, it only has three game modes. I thought Battleborn was bad. But this game, I mean, I think it's going to take the cake on that. It only has three game modes. It only has two game modes in the menu, which are similar to each other. It's just that this one is just a little bit more of a, a more has like a little bit more of a tweak. I mean, it's just, but it's the same shit. 
the amount of maps though it does have good designs to be honest i love the fucking maps and um that's what gives me a little bit more of a you know get, that gets me a little bit more motivated into playing this game i love the maps the characters especially the characters are fun to use man once you start you know learning how to use the characters you're just gonna have a lot of fun especially with hanzo man his special is fucking op as fuck but he deserves it because his fucking attacks is just a fucking bow it's like seriously it's a fucking bow <laughs> and then um the other person that i really having a lot of fun with has to be tracer man it's, you know since in call of duty every single call of duty game i love to rush i love to stay close to the enemy and just take him out with my smg and when i use tracer i use the same thing but this time you know since i have the technique of you know teleporting around it just gives me a lot of advantages against the enemy it's just super fun to use my highest amount of eliminations that i have with her is just insane man so um and also i survived the most with her I'm surprised i have more of a higher kd than than anybody else in the game especially more than junk red even though they have the same amount of hours and shit so so yeah the characters are fun to use because they all have different skill sets and um you know that's a big plus right there man that's what well, that's what brings the grade a little bit higher because the characters are different you're never gonna get bored switching around to, to other characters you can go from defender to attacker to support you know it's just and it's all within the gameplay by the way you can change it within the game and um you know you can have a lot of fun doing that because you're changing you're trying to adjust what the enemy gives you and it's a lot of fun man you change characters inside the gameplay and uh, that what gives it away too so yeah the characters are not bad so um i believe that's my full you know review about this game it does not have a story another annoying thing i forgot to, i almost left this out there needs to be a limit there really needs to be a fucking limit this is what pisses me off the most i face five fucking tracers in one map are you serious and I had to switch out to like a lot of characters in order for, for to take out a uh, tracer. And the best one who can do it is Junkrat. So they really need to live in the characters to two. You cannot be choosing five at a time. Like then choose two at a time, man. Like at one point I faced three different Torb joints, and they were all camping behind their turrets, behind a Reinhardt, behind a freaking Mercy. We couldn't even capture anything. Not even our Reinhardt could even you know get past those turrets. So please, freaking Overwatch, limit the amount of characters you can choose within the game, please. If not, if you're gonna leave it for competitive, that's good. You know, I'm I'm glad you're gonna do that for competitive mode, cause um, right now, I've noticed there's, there is a competitive mode. As you can see, competitive preseason. Apparently, there are stats for that, and I don't have any hours on it because they haven't released it. So. So yeah, man. I'm hopefully hoping that um, you know, they do limit the amount of characters you can choose within the game. So that is it, guys. That's my full review about the game. Great characters. The maps are good. The game modes are fun. It's just that they really need to expand to more. The negatives. There's not a lot of game modes. There's two game modes. There's three game modes within the game mode, and then there's no story. There's no fucking story. I really wanted to know the backgrounds of some certain characters, but they didn't put it here. And no, I do not want to go to another website to search it off. You see, a lot of the fanboys right now are going to be like, Oh, go search it off in YouTube. There's the animation. Shut the fuck up. I'm like, I don't want to go out the fucking disc. This is Destiny all over again. Destiny did the same fucking bullshit. <laughs> they fucking make you collect cards and then they make you go to the internet. It's fucking stupid. And then, um, you know, this should, it should be on in disc, man. This is not, this is not game of the year at all with no story within the game it cannot qualify for game, for game of the year some some games can i know some people are going to pull off the fucking wikipedia and shit but it's just that there's not a lot of content two game modes and then three games within that game mode really that's it <sighs> but the fun factor is super high in this game so my full review my full score about this game has to be a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten it's super fun the characters are creative the skills are fun to use the maps are freaking good looking the negatives there's not a lot of game modes there's no story and they should really add more game modes like really shit i bought this shit for 60 dollars so that is it guys that's my opinion about this game if you have your own opinion about this or opinion about me about reviewing this game then go ahead and leave it in the comment section i would love to read it later on so that is it subscribe for more you guys want to see more overwatch